Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how we can find the most efficient hydraulic section or best hydraulic section for rectangular channel. First, you have to know what is the most efficient hydraulic section or best hydraulic section. It means a cross section for a specific head, we can discharge the highest amount of water. Okay, we have this rectangular channel B and Y, and the area equal to width is multiplied depth of water, and P equal to B plus 2Y. What's P? P is weighted perimeter. Weighted perimeter means the boundary of the channel which has a contact with the water. So we get the most efficient hydraulic section, we have to minimize the weighted perimeter. Why? Because weighted perimeter has a contact with the water which caused uh, the loss of head. Minimizing a weight perimeter, it means minimizing of head loss. We have to find the ratio of B and Y such that P is minimum for a constant A. Area is constant, which equal to B and Y, but B, Y is variable. Weight perimeter equal to B plus 2Y. So we have to derive this weight perimeter equation to get the ratio of B and Y for a minimum weight perimeter. But this equation have two variables. We want to uh, replace B with A and Y because A constant. Then in the equation will be only Y variable. We can easily find the derivation for weighted perimeter equation. So to get this purpose, we have to write perimeter equation in terms of A and Y. We know A equal to BY, so B equal to A over Y. Just replace B with A over Y. The equation will be A over Y plus 2Y. Now, it's easy to get the derivative of weighted perimeter. Okay. After derivation, we get dP dy equal to minus A over Y squared plus 2 equal to 0. That is the derivation for this equation. Derivative of 2Y equal to 2. But how we get minus A over Y squared? Let us explain it more. A over y equal to a multiply y to the power minus 1. If we derive a multiply y to the power minus 1, we get minus a multiply a multiply y to the power minus 2, which equal, this term equal minus a over y2, the same as minus a over y2. Okay. We get the derivative which equal to minus a over y squared plus 2 then by multiplication we get a over y2 equal to 2 but a equal to by therefore by replacing a by by it will be by over y square equal to 2 then by over y square of, uh, equal to 2 one y cancel another y in the denominator so the relation will be y over b2. Thus, a rectangular cross section is the most efficient when the flow depth is one half the channel width. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. See you in next tutorial. Have a nice time.